Hey, it's Eric Evans Ted with bootstrapbizgrowth.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a really great email signature. And this is an overlooked but very simple marketing strategy that can help you drive traffic to your website, to your blog, to your social media pages. It's going to help you sell more of your products or services. It's just a really great and simple tactic that you set up once and you never have to worry about it again because after it's set up, it's just automated. It automatically is applied to every email that you send. So what we do is we put links to all of our social media pages in this email signature. You can put some sort of a call to action, like sign up for this free blank, whatever that is. Maybe you have an ebook, um, however you build your email list, that can be a great way to do that. You link to your, your website, you have your phone number, your email, your contact information. You just make it very simple for people to see your information and to connect and engage with you. That's what an email signature does. Another thing that I really like about it is that you can embed your business logo and your picture of yourself. And that just makes your emails a little bit more personal if you're doing um, you know, colder type email outreach or working with prospective clients that can add a nice little extra touch that personalizes it helps build that trust helps make you more memorable um, so there's lots of benefits here and it only takes a few minutes to get set up so I'm gonna walk you through that process of creating your own email signature right now I'm gonna pull up my screen and first I'm gonna show you what mine looks like just to kind of give you some ideas so if I hit compose here in Gmail you'll see my email signature is automatically added. So I would just type out my message, you know, and then my email signature is already here. So I don't even have to worry about it. It's just automatically added in each time I create a new email. So for me personally, you see I have my name, my business role, my company name, email address, website, a lot of people would also include, you know, maybe their office phone number or their mobile phone number or both. Um, I leave that out. Um, I do link to some of my social media pages here. So these are all links. If someone were to click on these, it would take them to those pages. And then down here, I have a call to action. So get my list of must have tools for entrepreneurs. So if somebody clicks on that, I'll just do it now. They would go to this page. And here they could opt in for my free um, must have tools for entrepreneurs to help them grow a business. So that is something that I have added in recently and it just starts to help you build your email list very passively. You're probably not going to get a lot of signups. Um, not a lot of people are going to follow through on whatever call to action you put in there, but you're going to get some and it doesn't hurt. It just is another way to engage with people and get your name, your message and your products out in front of in front of the world. So that's what mine looks like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create your own. So the website that I like to use for this is mail-signatures.com. And then you're going to do um, a slash and signatures-generator. I'll, I'll link to this in the description. Um, but this is a cool free website that I found um, is really good for creating email signatures. And so the first thing that you want to do is you want to come up here and select the, the template or the style of signature. So they have a bunch to choose from and you'll see it down here when you click on one. So this one would have your name, your title, contact information, then a banner type thing. So this could be a, a great call to action that catches people's attention. Here's another one with a banner. So that would be great. You would have to create that type of a banner in something like Canva or Photoshop, um, but th that could be done. Another one that I really like is just this type of a thing where it's uh, your image here and then contact information beside I really like having your image on there because again it does make you look makes it just a little bit more personal so you can kind of just go through all these figure out which one that you like the best um, I'll go with this one for for now and what you want to do once you set this up is you're going to come over here and click on personal data you're going to type in all of your information so I'm going to set this up for another business of mine since um, I already have it for my bootstrap biz growth. Okay, so that's all my personal info there. Then I'm going to go down here and click company data. I'm going to type out the company name and the website. I'm going to leave the address off because I don't have a brick and mortar type location. I work remotely, so 
this wouldn't be relevant. If you do have a brick and mortar type location, you would want to put this in there. And then I am going to come down to graphics. And what I want to do is I want to add in my picture. So I already actually, actually already did this, but I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that you can do is uh, pull an image from your website. So if you have a, an about page where you have your, your image on your bio, you can just grab that URL from your website and copy and paste it into here. That would work fine. Or you could upload a, an image to your website, grab the URL that way and add it in. For a lot of people, that's going to be too much work and uh, maybe a little bit too technical. So a little workaround that I found is to go to your LinkedIn page and this would probably this would also work for you know facebook if you have a facebook image you want to use but for me i'm going to use linkedin i'm going to click on my profile and then i'm just going to right click on my image i'm going to copy the image address i'm going to come back in here and i'm just going to paste it right there and that's going to make the picture um, show up in the email signature so that's a good little workaround to get your bio image in there then you're going to add in social media links so they have six to choose from instagram youtube linkedin google plus facebook and twitter so these are the the main six um, you can add in whichever ones you want if you don't have say twitter you just delete it and it deletes it from over here um, but you just want to probably link to um, your business facebook page and social media pages or if it's more relevant you could also do your social accounts or your personal social accounts um, so it's really up to you. Um, so add in those links. Once you do that, you kind of want to come over here and make sure it looks good. If it does, you're going to click apply your signature. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here and click copy signature to clipboard. So that just copies everything you just created to your clipboard so that you can come and paste it into your email system. And so this website is kind of nice because it has instructions for how to add this email uh, signature to different email platforms. So they have Gmail, Outlook, Outlook 365, Exchange Server, Thunderbird, all these different ones where they show you how to do it. I'm going to walk you through how to do it with Gmail really quickly because that's probably the number one email system out there that most people are going to be using. So I'm going to come into uh, settings. So I'm going to hit this little gear icon. I'm going to go, click settings. I'm going to scroll all the way down. There's an email signature section right here. And what I want to do is I want to paste it. So I'm going to hit control V and now it is pasted here, my email signature. And now what I want to do is I want to just kind of come in here and clean it up. So right here, they added a comma for some reason. I'm going to delete that. Um, I want this website to maybe come up in here. So I just pasted that in there. Okay. And then down here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a call to action. So I might say something like get our website conversion checklist. I don't know. Whatever that free offer is that you're offering in order to get email signups, um, you could add that in there or maybe you just say, um, you know, get a free website quote. Wherever you're trying to drive traffic, um, have that call to action be for that. And then you're going to highlight it all. You're going to come up here and you're going to enter in that, whatever that URL is. So maybe this is .net slash quote. I'm going to hit OK. And now that is a link that is a clickable link so people can click on that get their free website quote get their free ebook or checklist or whatever it is you're offering that's how you add that in there i might try to make this a little bit uh bold maybe have it stand out maybe um italicize it so lots you can do there i'm actually going to come up here too and i'm going to do mountain mobile i like that look better than having this here so you can kind of customize it a bit once you get in here and just make it look the way you want. All these links are going to work already. And once you're done, you are just going to come down here and hit save changes. And now 
if I do compose a message, you see this email signature right here. So I can start typing and here's my message and then at the bottom we'll have my email signature with all these clickable links so that people can contact me engage with me and hopefully end up buying from me or joining my email list and that is the ultimate goal here again it's not going to get a ton of conversions but it's going to give people another way to connect with you and you will get some sort of conversions on this it's simple you set it up once you can see it only takes five to ten minutes to get set up and once you are set up, you're done with it. You never have to worry about it again. So I hope this adds value to you. I hope you go in and set it up for yourself. Take the five to 10 minutes to do so. Get any coworkers to set it up for them and start driving traffic to your websites or your freebies or wherever you wanna drive traffic to to engage your client base or your prospective clients. That's what you wanna do. If you have found value in this video, I would love it if you would scroll down and give us a thumbs up. Let us know if, that you liked it. And I would also love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be giving a lot of content away in the weeks to come with helpful tips to grow your business on a budget. That's what we talk about every single day, how to grow your business on a budget, how to market affordably, how to outsource, how to uh, be more productive as an entrepreneur. That's what we specialize in. So I hope you subscribe to this channel so you get notified about all of our latest videos to help you grow. And then lastly, I want to thank you for watching our video. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you come back and visit us again soon.